Hey guys, welcome back. I have a new to me vendor to share with you guys. Um, this vendor is the Scented Squirrel. So I've seen a lot of stuff on Instagram about this vendor. Uh, the vendor actually follows me on Instagram from her personal account and I believe the Scented Squirrel account and I follow her back. So I see a lot of her posts and she regrams um, a lot of customers pictures and whatnot. So anyways, um, I've just been interested about this vendor and a few days ago she offered a 34 percent off code because it was her 34th birthday so happy birthday jess um so i took advantage of that sale and tried out some of her wax for the very first time so um the owner's the owner's name is jess dickey she has a little card right here uh, the census squirrel dot big cartel dot com i ordered i guess it was um, I don't actually see it. Never mind. I thought I had the date on here, but I don't. Um, when I ordered, though, it shipped within, like, an hour or two, you know? So it was very, very fast shipping, and I got it today, and everything was packaged perfectly in a Petaflat Ray envelope. The clams were bubble-wrapped, and then the scent, the scent shots were together bubble-wrapped. So it was really packaged nicely, so there was absolutely no damage. And let's see if there's anything else I need to add. I think she does monthly restocks, so check out her Facebook group and her Instagram. That's where you can find some more information. So anyways, um, let's get into the order. I got a sample here in uh, what looks like marshmallow, fireside, and sugar cookie. This is going to be interesting. Mmm, that's really good. That marshmallow, marshmallow fireside is so strong, and I love that scent for fall. Oh, I hear my children. No, nope, they were just having a race. Thought they were gonna bombard their way into the room. So anyways, um, that smells really good. I hope she brings this out in like a clamshell or something because I would order this in a larger quantity. So yeah, looking forward to melting that. So I'm just gonna go in order of like from uh, left to right. So first I got a little clamshell in Luna, or I'm sorry, Linea, Herbal Lavender and Fresh Rain. And I want to show you how pretty these are. Mmm, that's a really good scent. It's fresh, it's watery, and look how pretty this is. I know my lighting's kind of off because my window's open and the sun's like going behind the clouds every few seconds, but this is really nice. The lavender, you have to like herbal lavender, but the rain in this is just, it gives it this like nice fresh scent. It's very, very nice. Looking forward to melting that. Oh, and I love that her labels have the pour date and the scent descriptions because when I got this, I was like, oh, I'm probably going to have to look up all the scents again, but nope, they were on there. Next, I got this little scent shot. I will definitely cut these in half. And this is a uh, Love and Lace Love Spell, which I normally don't go for, but I was I wanted to get out of my comfort zone in this order. Love Spell and Vanilla Lace. So it's very heavy on the love spell, but I do get that vanilla note. It's actually a great combo. I can deal with this. I like this. That's not bad. And this is what it looks like. Sparkly. I'm assuming these are two ounce scent shots or 1.5, but I'll definitely cut that in half. Next, I got another one that I normally would not have bought. Banana berry cotton candy, strawberries, banana, raspberry, Blueberries and cotton candy. Banana alone, I would probably not have ordered this, but I, like I said, I was trying to step out of my comfort zone, so I got some stuff that I normally don't order. This is a very sweet scent. I don't know what I'm smelling exactly. I think all of them, all of those berry scents came together, because I really, the only thing I can specifically smell is that blueberry, but everything else came together for just a general berry scent like a good combination so I don't really smell that banana and I'm glad because I'm not I don't know how I feel about that banana <laughs> so that's really good it smells very sweet and fruity next I have a clam in rose jam grams vanilla frosted grams and rose jam type this is the only one so far that I'm iffy about. It's super pretty because I love red. That's my favorite color. Very sparkly. 
in the sun, you can see it. So pretty. This is just a very odd scent to me. Not, it's just not what I was expecting. I'm trying to pop it out so I can smell the bottom. Okay. I think it's that graham cracker because it's very heavy on the grams. It's very heavy. Normally Roche Jam is a heavy scent in a blend, but this is definitely more along the bakery side, I guess, the graham crackers. It's not bad, it's just unique and something that I would have to um, get used to. So I will try that. Hopefully I'll like it better once I melt it. Next, I have Migraine Buster. Lavender, chamomile, wintergreen, and rosemary mint. So I don't smell the lavender or the chamomile really, or chamomile, sorry. This just smells like one of those white, hard mint candies. My mom used to eat those all the time. Actually, she still does because every time we go down to visit her, my daughters harass her for the mints that she keeps at her desk and she just gives them a bunch. So it's super pretty, very sparkly. If you don't like glitter, then you might be turned off by this, but I love how pretty it is. Um... So yeah, I really smell like the mint hard candies, um, those little circle lifesaver mints. That's really what I smell with this. So maybe the lavender will come out more as it's melted. Okay, I was looking at the pour date, sorry. All right, next I have Atmosphere, Green Cedar, Powdered Amber, Wild Briar Rose, Bergamot, Patchouli, Dragon's Blood, Lavender Fur, Orange, and Cashmere Musk. Whew, okay, that was a long description. Mmm. You have to like patchouli and like dragon's blood to like this because that's really what I smell. A lot of that incense type. And my husband loves that type of scent. I personally have to be in the mood for it. it smells really nice though and I'm definitely going to make him smell this because he's going to love it. He will probably... I'm trying, I got him a little warmer and a box full of patchouli and um, Nag Champa type scents. So he's supposed to put it by his reloading bench but he hasn't done that yet i think he's afraid he might spill it so like the wax warmer but i'm gonna tell him to set it up maybe this weekend so he can start melting all right next i got another little scent shot in beach bonfire toasted marshmallow salty sea air and bonfire this is sweet it's a sweet note but i'm also getting um, the bonfire in this, unfortunately to me, it's that very artificial fake smoke scent or like, it just brings me back to the crystal ball at Disney World or Disney, yeah, Disney. Um, when you go, I think it's Disney, Epcot maybe? Yeah, Epcot. Anyways, you go up the crystal ball and they have like the flames and stuff and like, that's what it smells like, that fake fire note. Doesn't not smell like bonfire bliss at all. It's interesting though, it's a sweet blend of that um, like fake fire note combined with the toasted marshmallow and the salty sea air. So it's not like terrible to me. I, I just personally don't really like that bonfire scent, but I will melt this and give it a try. I was hoping that it would be more like the, the toasted marshmallow scent that was in this, but I mean the marshmallow fireside scent, sorry. All right, and last but not least is Sailor Boy. Blue sugar, salty mar mariner, musky seaweed, green ozone, and ocean, and then barbershop. Sorry, I was like losing my mind. And barbershop. I don't need to read all that. You guys know what shaving cream smells like. Mmm, this is by far my favorite out of the order. Wow. It is so sweet. The I think it smells kind of like salty sea air to me. Take a look at this. How glitterly, glittery, glitterly. It's glitterly glitter. Just kidding, guys. Don't make fun of me for that. <laughs> wow, it's so glittery. Um, I just can't stop looking. It's like mesmerizing. So anyways, this is the bomb.com. Very sweet, like salty sea air type to me. But it has that blue sugar too, which I really like. And you can smell that barbershop. I can't stop smelling this. This smells really, really good. Super glad that I got this. So hopefully she brings it back. I have not um, ordered for many of her restocks, but I did go on after I placed this order and I looked at what she was going to be offering for her next opening. And I did make a list. 
So hopefully I can melt some of this stuff by then. It looks like the majority of it is from May. So I will, once these hit the actual date, I'll probably give them a go. This one, no, nope, that's 25. Yeah, so most of them are from May. Um, I'll give them a little bit more cure time and then give them some, give them a try. And hopefully I like it. Hopefully they throw well for me. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to melting this new to me vendor. I see a lot about the scented squirrel, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the Scented Squirrel. I will link the website in the description box. Um, and follow, go follow her on Instagram for both of her accounts because she has some really cute cats, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> and also, I'll show you guys. This is the, the Facebook group information is right here. Along with her Twitter, her Instagram, and her email. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.